I guess I'll leave it for the two respective team leaders who I'm assuming are Locke and Arnold for the first question. I'll wait for it while you get your players in. But uh, I'll give this one to you first, Locke, given that you're here and got uh, other player in with you. How are you kind of feeling going into tonight's game? Were you guys feeling pretty confident? You guys had a very good showing on Via and uh, Sunshine, as we've, as we've just seen, but were you guys feeling pretty confident going into playoffs? Or, you know, just in general, how are you feeling about playoffs this season? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, yeah, I don't know, like we... We're getting a bit tilted in our warm-up scrim just because we weren't playing very well, but I don't know. It, we didn't. I don't think we were playing as good as we could have. Definitely. I, I had a few messages from Alice saying there were some problems, possibly with some invisible players happening for him, or that might have yeah. played into maybe a bit of frustration. I, I felt like he was seeing a bit of frustration from you guys. Yeah, I was getting pretty annoyed because I was playing with like 150 ping the entire match. It's pretty frustrating on Soldier. Definitely, definitely. And Arnold, how are you feeling? Obviously, I spoke to you, I was mentioning in the cast that I spoke to you a little bit earlier in the week and you were feeling pretty confident. Uh, how are you kind of feeling tonight? Um, I'm, th I'm, like, I'm happy with how we played. Like, we did really do try our hardest and, uh, like, we had some really good pushes and we took a round off, but um, we were hoping to do a bit better than we did, to be honest. Definitely. Why, a uh, question for you, Arnold. Why did yep. you guys pick Viaduct? Like, what was your plan on that map? Um, well, I sniped a bunch of Lox demos, and I saw that Viaduct tended to be their most favoured map. But then they did stuff like running heavies and snipers, and it just really screwed with our strats. Yeah, that, Easy bait. that 55 headshots from Zeta uh, oh my God. Tell, tells the story a bit. Was it really that many? 50, yeah, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> like, likewise, why did you guys pick uh, Sunshine and Lock? And was it Gullywash for the Decider? Gullywash for the Decider, yeah. It's all a part of the master plan. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think we're more comfortable on Sunshine and a few other maps, which we will not be releasing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, I'm sure one of them is Train Saw Laser. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, pretty decisive showing from you guys. Um, obviously, you know, we saw in that first half of Sunshine there, um, you know, in that last round, uh, we saw, you know, a fair bit of back and forth um, between the two teams. What, uh, how are you guys kind of feeling about that? Do you think it was, you know, it was a good showing from both teams on both maps? Um, what am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say? Um, you know, are you guys kind of, are you guys feeling, okay, well, no, I'm going to rephrase this completely. <laughs> are you guys feeling confident for the rest of playoffs? Obviously, it's uh -huh. double all limb for um, Div 2. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Where you know how how do both teams kind of see yourselves after the after this round you know kind of done and dusted how are you guys kind of seeing yourselves coming into the rest of playoffs? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, playoffs doesn't include finals, I'm guessing. For for uh, your next for your next match. Yeah, yeah. How do you uh, feel? I don't know. Probably it's just the same thing. Come in, just try and play as well as we can. Just scrim regularly. Nothing mm. special. Get by a doctor the minute earlier. <laughs> <laughs> And Arnold, how about you guys? You guys are feeling all right? Um, yeah, I think so. I think we're going to be able to get some now, and we're fairly... Just, we have really good matches against them. We tend to come out on top, but they send, seem to be really competitive. Yeah, um, so that'll be a really good next match. They do have a the New Zealand player, Fly to Grey. Shout out to him. Oh, great, yeah. great, great guy, great New Zealander. Uh, any questions from, from you, Render? You oh. probably have more a bit of the analytical play, more a bit of the play-by-play, -play, so you probably yes. noticed this fair whack more than I did. I want to know what's with the roster for Pojgana, because I noticed Zeta on Scout and Lock on the pocket. Even though I have seen Lock on pocket before, I'm just surprised that uh, this uh, roster change. Yeah, um, Zeta's Zada, played every class pretty much <laughs> so far. Yeah, I tried demo because we lost the demo. This is a lot of people leaving and. Not very good players coming into the roster. We need to switch it up a bit. So I played demo for like one match. It didn't work very well. So I went to scout and we got a demo. We were just playing like that for this season. Okay. Definitely, because I saw that you guys had Alice starting out on scout for you guys, but then I think left left or something similar. Uh, left say. didn't leave exactly, but yeah, we'll, he, we'll say he did depart. <laughs> he did not depart. Early retirement or something, something equivalent. Anyway, um, yeah. Aside from that, Render, any other questions for you? We'll get into some shout-outs. 
We'll call how, it did, out. how did you feel about the game, Rando? Oh. What was going through your head on Viaduct? Viaduct? Um, why am I getting headshotted so much? <laughs> That's like... Mm. That was what was going through my head, and it was also... Bullets um, fell through your head. We maybe should have screamed like at least once in the week prior to this game, because we picked Viaduct thinking, oh, it'll be alright, but we didn't practice uh, it. So you guys didn't have much practice going into this, I see. Well, I, let's excuse, but... Like, it was clearly we didn't have any coordination on Viaduct to combat the heavy and amazing sniper. Yeah. I noticed you you guys weren't really shutting down the sniper or having efficient bushes, especially with uh, Arnold getting picked off on a suicide. Yeah. The, idea, <laughs> suicide. Well, the idea to fucking take the sniper early was there, it's just that by the time we showed ourselves, we were already down 150 health at least, so... Mm. Like, it was just... Props to Pete, fucking did an awesome job on Vida. Pepper in them. I think it was a yeah. combination of heavy, <laughs> like suspending anything that came near. I was just hitting consistent shots. Yeah. And then Sunshine, Sunshine was quite good. This, we could have taken a couple more rounds, I believe, if we just um, settled ourselves a bit. And when we did have the advantages, we didn't lose players at inopportune times. But once again, I think that comes back down to rustiness on everyone's behalf. But We'll work on that, yeah. and hopefully taking into the next couple of rounds, we can improve on that and consolidate a few more rounds. Oh well. Let's get into some shout-outs. I'll uh, take it down the list. Arnold, any shout-outs for you, my friend? Um, shout-outs to CKM. Hashtag Rick Felix. Shout-outs to his mum. Shout-outs to all the players on our team. Shout-outs to Red Hawk and Kenneth and the admins and all the casters. And it's just like great stuff. Love TF2. Awesome. Lock, any shout outs for me, my friend? Yeah, shout out to the B1 gang and Ben, our Korean coach. Uh, Shivy, Casters, uh, I don't know, Middies. Pete? The most important shout Pete. out. Uh, <laughs> shout, shout out, out to me, Cruz, as usual. And big man mm. Eric. Oh yes, big Eric, Joe Lord himself. Yep, that's about it. Rando, any shout outs from you, my friend? Oh, just shout out to Renda. Hello. Hello there, Rando. Yeah, I miss you. But there you now. You, you and Corgi both. Oh, I don't really miss Corgi though. I, I miss. Corgi. I miss Corgi. Where'd he go again? Somewhere. Anyway. Yeah, nice. Render, any shout outs from you, my friend? Oh boy. Shout out to Tigrad, the Wu squad, especially Cindy and Fake. Shout out to Corgi, because he's a pretty good guy. Casters, admins, um, Red Hawk, Oswatress, still running pretty good. Still keeping numbers high, so that's pretty good. Mm, that's it. Also Midis. So I also want to shout out Midis. <laughs> yeah, nice. Red Hawk, any any shout outs from you? I'm assuming maybe stream can't hear you. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my shout outs. Uh, shout outs to Metamucil, my favorite fiber supplement. <laughs> uh, always has nice bowel motions with Metamucil, so recommend it to anyone. <laughs> Other fiber supplements are available. Uh, yeah, and that's probably it. Oh, and shout, out, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Pyrex from me. Yes, please, thank you for reminding me. Um, just a reminder for everyone, please remind to record this uh, final season. If you aren't, if you get asked for pods and you don't submit, you get banned for two weeks, so... <sighs> Better not oh, ask me for pods then! <laughs> don't take anyway, uh, I think I'm going to round this one was a bit suspicious. We should oh, fuck. get the pumps. Before this class is over, I'd like to remind all of you that the game for Masif vs. Uh, cash Money is going on right now. That's so after this you should go catch that, and it looks very hype at the moment, so get over there as, as soon as possible. Alright, rip guys, it's it's good. hurry up. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you for joining us ladies and gentlemen. You have been watching the Owl 13 Div 2 upper bracket semi-finals between Poikana and Chameleon. I have been Oxy, you have been joined by my co-caster Render and Red Hawk on production. 
Uh, check out the forums to so stay tuned for any other upcoming cast. And aside from that, that is us out.